So I just put Miles on the Billy blanket, which is what we were expecting to happen. He's got a little tail coming out here, and a nice hum from the machine, which is good. Probably help him sleep a little bit. Um, nice blue light coming out. <laughs> Giving him his superpowers. Um, he looks very peaceful now. Last night, he was awake pretty much the whole night. He wasn't upset, but just kind of hanging out and didn't want to be in his crib, so we held him, and he enjoyed that. Uh, he's very nocturnal. He sleeps a lot during the day. Just wants to eat a lot and play during the night time. Um, just tried to feed him, but really couldn't keep him awake long enough to feed him much, but... He ate a whole lot between the hours of 2 a.m. and 7 a.m., so overall it should be fine. And he should be on this blanket for about two days. He didn't he wasn't really at the level where he needed it yet, but I think they wanted to they were predicting he would get there and they just wanted to stave it off and hopefully get us out of here sooner rather than later. And blanket's nice because we can still hold him and breastfeed and everything. If he had lights, he would have to stay in the bed the whole time, I guess. And, um, what else? He didn't have any apnea last night or any, they said no DSATs either, which Andy and I are a little wary of because we're pretty sure he did DSAT at least a couple times. Um, we're not sure if the monitor's we noticed one of the alarms was off, so maybe it didn't pick it up for some reason. We're not really sure how all this works, but we're pretty sure he didn't have any apnea, just a couple tea sets while he was eating. Uh, but they didn't seem too worried, and we asked about his little dimple, sacral dimple, and they said it wasn't a big deal because you could see the base. We could do an ultrasound, but it's not a big deal, maybe we'll do it later. And he just got some food. Sometimes it's hard to tell who's sleepier, Andy or Miles. <laughs> He's Andy's just as hard to rouse as Miles is. Yeah, there probably could be a bear attacking him. <laughs> yeah, those alarms don't really seem to wake him up, or the cries, or pretty much anything, unless I jab him in the ribs. <sighs> but we're gonna have some breakfast and hopefully actually take a nap now that he's Miles is knocked out like this. Okay.